Jamie here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about the Fetch Rewards app because lately my most requested questions in terms of any rebate app has been Fetch Rewards and it makes total sense because I have been <laughs> promoting this app on my channel for so so long. So um, I wanted to go ahead and just make a separate video on Fetch Rewards. I did a video on rebate apps a few weeks ago, um, but I kind of briefly just went over Fetch, but I wanted to go ahead and answer a lot of the frequently asked questions I've gotten in terms of what Fetch is, how do you submit receipts, how you uh, redeem gift cards and all of that stuff. So I'm just going to give you guys a complete walkthrough of um, everything you need to know about um, this awesome app. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so to get this app, all you need to do is go to your app store and then you're gonna go ahead and download the app. So this is the app right here, Fetch Rewards app. So it's gonna open you up to the app right here. And so this is the Fetch Rewards app right here. So what you're gonna see are certain special offers. So you're gonna get extra bonus points when you buy certain items. But if you want a full list of all of the brands, you just go to brands and then the full list right here. So all of these brands are gonna give you extra bonus points. So it's literally a brand list from A to Z. So anytime you're purchasing any of these brands at your grocery store, you're gonna get bonus receipts. But what is awesome is you don't have to buy just these brands. You can go into your local grocery store and just buy the store brand water and you're gonna get points um, for that receipt that you upload. So now that we're talking about uploading receipts, how you're gonna get points um, with Fetch Rewards is you're gonna go down to the bottom right here and it says scan. So it's right in the middle. So what you're gonna do is when you're done purchasing your items at the grocery store, you're gonna go ahead and hit this button right here that says scan receipt. Okay, so my husband just got back from the grocery store. So I have a receipt to go ahead and go through the upload process with you. So you wanna go and click this middle button that says that that looks like a receipt and then click on submit receipt. Go on to a screen where you're gonna take a photo. So what you wanna do is snap a photo of your receipt sorry if this angle is weird but i'm really trying to give you guys like a step by step of how to do it so um you're going to submit your receipt by taking photos and like i mentioned earlier just make sure that you have the date and um, items that you purchase so now i'm finishing up my receipt and it's loading right now so um, i was able to earn 26 points with this um, receipt so it gave me 26 points and now that's added into my point total so um, that is how you scan your receipts guys so another question I've been getting is what happens if I try to submit my receipt and it tells me that I'm unable to up upload another receipt because I've already submitted 14 receipts in seven days so Fetch Rewards will only allow you to submit 14 receipts in a seven day period. So if you're someone like me who does multiple transactions over at CVS, they're gonna cap you at 14 receipts per seven days. So just keep that in mind. But it doesn't mean that you're not gonna be able to submit those receipts. So what I do and that happens to me is I just put a little star at the corner of my receipt and then I set it aside because that tells me I tried to submit to Fetch but it told me I have I have already submitted 14 receipts. So just keep that in mind and then just come back to the receipt a day or two later and then go ahead and submit it. Um, that's happened to me numerous times so um, you're not going to be out of that receipt. So just we add a little bit more information um, onto that. You have 14 days to submit your receipt from your purchase date. So say you purchase your items on the 1st, you have until the 15th to go ahead and submit that. So if you are having to set your receipts aside, don't wait too long because there is a 14 day period um, where it's only valid for 14 days just to um, just keep a note of that. So that's a, a frequent question that I've been getting a lot on Fetch 
rewards. So next question is, how do I know what retailers will take fetch reward receipts? So basically any, any place that sells grocery items, so your pharmacies, your local grocery stores, also your Targets, your Walmarts. Um, a few of you have actually uh, commented saying that you actually tried it on 7-Eleven and it worked. Um, a few of you had mentioned that you actually were able to upload your gas receipts, which is awesome. So another question that I get asked quite often is, how many points do you need to have in order to go ahead and cash out? So the minimum points that you need to have is 3,000 points. So 3,000 points is gonna get you $3. So you can go ahead and choose from the list of rewards that they have available. So they have CVS, they have Barnes & Noble, they have Target, they have Visa gift cards, but the minimum cash out is uh, 3,000 points. So what's cool is when you first sign up for the app, you're gonna get 2,000 points when you use the referral code that I have in the description box. Uh, it's going to prompt you to enter a referral code and that's going to get you 2,000 points um, for your first receipt that you upload. So right off the bat, you're going to get 2,000 points. So then you just need 1,000 more points to go ahead and cash out at 3,000, which is $3. In addition, what's really awesome is Fetch Rewards has an awesome referral program. So once you sign up for your own account, you're gonna get a referral code of your own that you can share with your friends and family. A good way to do it is just share it on Facebook and just say, hey guys, wanna earn some free money when you're already buying groceries? Um, and then you can go ahead and get other people to sign up with your referral link and then you will get 2,000 points when they use your code. So that's a way to also um, build up your rewards as well is through their referral system and you'll get bonus reward points on the specific brands that they have listed, um, like I showed you previously. So like I showed you earlier, there's a whole list of brands. There's an A to Z um, brand list, and they also run different uh, promotions where a certain amount of a particular product will get you bonus points. So I covered this um, earlier in the video, but there are certain um, promotions that Fetch will run for a specific brand. So uh, just for example, you can earn a thousand um, points, which is equivalent to a dollar, um, when you buy one of the planter's crunchies, um, and it gives you all of the requirements um, when you click on it, and it will give you a limit of 10 per user. So you could essentially buy 10 of these bags and get a thousand bonus points um, and then it'll tell you what time frame you have to go ahead and submit that receipt for those bonus points so um, for the, the planters it's uh, may 16th through uh, june 12th so you have almost a month to go ahead and redeem that so. okay so another question you guys asked me is how do you redeem your points so Let's just go ahead and go to the rewards part of the app. So I'm gonna go up here to my points and it's gonna show me how many points I have. So I have 90,000 reward points. So it's gonna give you options through 3,000 points all the way up to the max reward is 50. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the 50K and you can scroll through this list of however many, whatever gift card you wanna go ahead and redeem for. So for today, I'm gonna to walk through this with you guys and I'm gonna redeem a 50,000 point for Target. So I'm gonna end up doing my Target grocery shopping. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get a Target gift card. So um, scrolling through here, come on Target, where are you? Is this alphabetical? might be alphabetical all right so I want the target reward so what I'm gonna do is click on get this reward and then it's gonna ask you are you sure yes I'm sure and then a code is gonna be text to you so I'm gonna enter my code 483 and then I'm gonna validate it so it's validating so now once I submitted for that I'm gonna go to my rewards and here is the reward that we just um, redeemed. So I'm gonna click on that and view reward. 
so it's loading. So now you're gonna get prompted to this pink screen that says activate my reward. So I am wanting to activate my reward and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and copy this code. So however your smartphone works, just press down and copy and then go to e gift card and then at this point you're going to enter your secret code and then go to e gift card and then at this point i'm not going to show you guys the whole the whole card but um there is a barcode where my thumb is and there's a card number so what you can do is use this card online or you can um, just scan it in store so that is how you're going to go ahead and redeem your rewards because i've gotten a lot of questions on how you actually redeem the rewards so that is a step-by-step -step of how you do it this is just the step-by-step -step guide on sharing <laughs> how awesome fetch rewards is and how easy it is and i wanted to kind of combine all of the frequently asked questions I have received on Fetch Rewards and I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys and you were able to get to a more understanding of how to go ahead and um, work this app. So um, again, if you have not signed up for the app, um, <clears throat> you can only download it on your smartphone. So you can't do it on your tablet or your iPad. Not that I know of. I tried to download it on my daughter's tablet and it didn't work so I think it's just a smartphone app but you just go to your app store um, type in fetch rewards and then you're gonna get a prompt to enter a uh, referral code so I'll have that below in the description box because that's how you're gonna get started then upload your first receipt and then you're gonna start earning points and then you can go ahead and either use those gift cards for your groceries to make your out-of-pocket lower um, when you go to the grocery store or you can treat yourself and <laughs> get one of many gift cards uh, which I've already done already um, I actually just did a haul video uh, yesterday and everything that I purchased I got thanks to the fetch rewards app and thanks to you guys for using my referral code but um, I also had gotten my mom her Mother's Day present with Fetch Rewards. I've gifted a few friends gift cards through that. Um, I use it as a way um, to balance out my grocery costs as well. So there are a ton of things that you can do um, with Fetch Rewards. Ashley from Ashley's Coupons, she opted to do a charitable donation of $25 for um, our last month's Extreme Couponing to Extreme Donating. So if you want to just donate your reward points and donate to a charity every single month you could do that as well um sky's the limits with fetch rewards so so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you found this step-by-step -step helpful and if you want me to do it for the other apps like ibotta saving star checkout 51 cartwheel i would be happy to do um like breakdowns of every single um, rebate app that I am using or savings app that I'm using, I would be happy to walk through all of the other apps with you guys and just kind of make this kind of like a mini series. So um, I'm here to help you guys out. So when I saw such a high volume of questions regarding this app, I felt like I owed it to you guys to bring you guys this video. So I hope everyone's having a great day. Don't forget to like this video so I know you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. My kids are running all over the place and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.